my dear beloved people of God, knowingly or unknowingly, we have entered into the ordinary season after a pompous Christmas tide. We are on the second ordinary Sunday. And the scripture readings of this Sunday invite us to reflect upon the call from God, call of God to each one of us to be his close associates. The first reading is the call narrative of young boy Samuel. It's commonly known as the call of Samuel to be a judge and also a prophet. Some scholars call it as an auditory message dream theophany because God speaks to young boy Samuel in his sleep. Young Samuel did not know to recognize God's voice or to know whether God was calling him. And so he mistook God's voice for Eli's voice, the old priest of the sanctuary, Eli. It happened three times and then Eli understood that God was calling the child and therefore he helped young boy Samuel to answer God's call. He prepared him to dispose himself properly for the call of God if again he heard the same voice. And indeed, God called Samuel for the fourth time and then Samuel was all disposed to answer God's call. He said, Speak, Lord, for your servant listens. This points to Samuel's obedience and willingness to listen to God. Unless we have a proper disposition to listen to the voice of God, we cannot understand God who is speaking to us in different ways at different times. But the best time to listen to God is the privileged time of prayer. Do we give enough time to be with God? Do we have time to listen to God? Secondly, my dear God's people, let's accept that at times we too mistake God's voice for human's voice. And also we mistake world's voice to God's voice and therefore we get confused. So it is of paramount importance to know or to judge how to listen, whom to listen, how much to listen. If at all we are confused, we need to go and seek for guidance from true disciples of God. It's a noble task to help someone discover God's call and discern His will. It's a noble service towards another person to help them to hear and lovingly yield to the gentle call of God. The Gospel passage gives the version of Evangelist John about the call of three first disciples of Jesus, two of which were the followers of John the Baptist. They left John the Baptist because John the Baptist pointed to Jesus as the Lamb of God. Seeing these two disciples following him, Jesus asked them a very significant question. What do you seek? This question, I think, my dear people of God, was not to obtain information, nor was it a reproof. It was an inquiry into the desires of the disciples. There is a need to have a clear consciousness of what we really desire in life. Today, you ask this question to yourself as if asked by Jesus himself, what do you seek? Many have not answered this question and therefore they have no proper sense of direction in life. Some of us go through life with low and worthless aims. Today, if we ask this question, it will help us to know what direction we need to go in life. The answer of the disciples was again a question. Lord, where do you stay? Now this question points 
to their desire to have a private or a personal conversation with Jesus Christ regarding the thoughts and hopes that stirred their hearts after John had remarked that Jesus is the lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world come and see was the reply of Jesus in fact it was an invitation for them Jesus never refuses anyone who wants to follow him the disciples certainly went and saw the place where Jesus stayed but more than that they discovered who Jesus was and then they shared their experience with the others one of them was Andrew the brother of Simon Peter he went first to his brother and brought him to Jesus seeking Jesus being with him spending time with him and experiencing him will give us that enthusiasm to go and share that experience and bring those people to Jesus as Andrew did with his brother Simon my dear people of god do you have a desire to converse with Jesus personally if you have you need to give a good quality time or a fixed time regularly to Jesus you will discover who Jesus is the disciples the two disciples discovered Jesus as the messiah the anointed one of god the christ and they went and shared that experience if jesus is calling you today to be his minister or to a religious life do not stop yourself answer his call and discern his will if you are confused take help of true guides true leaders of god remember it takes courage to answer god's call and to follow it following god is not easy His mission is always tough it involves a lot of challenges and therefore we need to give time and prepare ourselves to face that challenge dear parents if your children feel being called by god do not stop them help them to discover it that could be the fulfillment of their life in the service of god and in the service of others be a true guide like the old priest Ali who helped young boy Samuel to discover his call to be a judge and a prophet may god bless all of you